literally next. Road white. You can feel their resolve strengthening. I like how Bam just grabbed Jimmy there too. Just control Jimmy. Don't let him get distracted. Keep him, a, you know, part of the team and, and not. Well, I call it getting rabbit ears where you start hearing every comment from the fans because that's not gonna that's not gonna help with this with this uh, Fan base really getting after Jimmy This may be a free sub, but it still feels like I wasted money So Tyler hero will shoot why are they going after Jimmy? They were that was their best season They had in like 20 years with Jimmy Butler. What, what, what are you what are you talking about? Couple free throws Why the what do I not what do I not get about this? Why are they chanting Rachel Nichols? What am I missing here? What am I missing here? What the fuck am I missing? He hit. Huh? He hit in the bubble. Last week, during the quarantine period, the hotel that the Miami Heat were staying at, a security guard received a complaint of disturbance. There was a loud thumping going on. And who opened the door? It was Miami Heat for Jimmy Butler, drenched in sweat. Of course, racial name. Nichols has been involved in a lot of controversy lately in the sports world. She made some racist remarks towards Mario Taylor, and as a result, Nichols will not be covering the NBA Finals anymore. However, this video isn't about that. This video is about why Jimmy Butler and Rachel Nichols indeed hooked up in a hotel in the 2020 NBA bubble. There's a ton of proof that support this claim, so let's get straight to it. The first piece of evidence that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is the noise complaints that security received from Jimmy Butler's hotel in the NBA bubble. According to NBA insider Chris Haynes, a security guard received a complaint of a large banging within Butler's hotel room during the quarantine period. When the security guard knocked the door of the hotel, Butler was the one that opened it and was drenched in sweat. He claimed that he was dribbling quote unquote a basketball with his cap because how can you be that sweaty dribbling a basketball in a hotel? Even the other TNT broadcaster stated that he was worried that there would be some kind of entanglement in that hotel. Good. I was worried there might be some form of entanglement. Okay. When Therefore, it's believed that Jimmy Butler and Rachel Nichols were indeed smashing in the hotel and that it was kept a secret. Some people also claim that Butler gave coffee to Rachel Nichols as well a couple of times in the bubble, which is absolutely insane. The second piece of evidence that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is that Jimmy Butler and Rachel Nichols have a history of flirting in interviews. I mean, look at how they smile at each other when talking. Here are some clips of what I'm talking about. I mean, the same thing, a high level of competition. I keep it at that for, for now um, and, and, and keep it at basketball. I'm asking you the question. And I appreciate that. I care deeply, Jimmy. Thank you. Are the Miami Heat winning game two? Yeah. Yeah. How did I know you were going to say that? I mean, you just know me oh so well, right? Also, back in 2016, Yo! Rachel Nichols posted this tweet. Come on, you don't say shit like that, bro. Unless you're dribbling cheeks in a room. Of him and Butler having quote unquote fun and being close to each other in an episode of The Jump, which is really weird to be honest. I mean, they do call this show The Jump for a reason. Nichols is The Jump. Adding to over the top of the nature of this rumor, Nichols was allegedly linked to Turkish player Ersan Ilyasova as well in the bubble. And also, there's even a video of Nichols flirting with LeBron James as well after the 2020 NBA Championship. Nichols just has a past regarding this type of action. Anyways, the last piece of evidence that I'm going to be talking about in today's video involves Carl Anthony Towns. In the last seconds of a Timberwolves vs Miami Heat matchup in May of 2021, Carl Anthony Towns and Jimmy Butler were getting into it and trash talking non-stop. Jimmy Butler first called Towns soft and then Towns responded to Butler by telling him to call Rachel Nichols twice. Here's the full audio of the incident. <laughs> So yeah, that pretty much concludes. Call Rachel Nichols, dude. Oh my God, bro. Dude, my respect for Jimmy Butler 
has just gone up. I that, that's literally like that's just funny as fuck. Okay, no, 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 no. I know she said some dumb shit. I'm saying like you okay, regardless, she, you say she doesn't look good. So now we're just lying. So now we're just lying. We're just lying now. She's married. Wait, is, Ra is Rachel? Oh my God, wait, she's married. She's been married for 20 years. Like I said, my respect for Jimmy has gone up. <laughs> 